Hey, hey, what's up, my fellow geeks and nerds? Paul Sun Young Lee here. Welcome to Funboxing Sundays, episode number 20. Can you believe that? 20 episodes of Funboxing Madness. And I'm so glad that you're here today. October 17th. Can you believe it? It's already halfway through October, halfway to Halloween. Uh, you know, the, the high holidays are upon us. The weather turned cold today for the first time. We, we kind of got normal uh, weather instead of this... Um, this massive heat wave we seem to have gotten, and um, yeah, things seem to be coming back to normal. I am, of course, Paul Sun Young Lee. You are in my geeky basement with me. A newly revamped geeky basement. What do you guys think? What do you all think? Not guys. I'm trying to non-gender. Uh, you know, when I address large crowds, I'm, I gotta get better at that. But I'm trying. I'm, I really am trying. Um, and uh, yeah, so this is this is a, a labor of love right here. Um, Almost killed myself doing it, not gonna lie. Uh, it was a lot harder than I th thought it was going to be, and I thought it was gonna be hard to begin with. But here it is, um, hope you like it. Uh, it it's about 99% done. I still have a couple of little, little, little shelves to reorganize, some hot toys that I'm gonna be unboxing, that I'm gonna be putting together in certain cubicles. Uh, I found out that one of these shelves, um, I was hoping to get the speeder bike that I had unboxed, uh, unboxed a few weeks ago to get in there. But it's too big. And you all know what I'm talking about. The speeder bike where I lost the little magnet, which is rattling around inside the speeder bike still. Um, it's kind of like the crocodile in Peter Pan. I can hear it click, 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 clicking, but I, I can't get to it, which is <laughs> really, really funny. But uh, yeah, so um, yeah, it's too big. It won't fit in there. It needs a separate spot all on its own. Uh, so I hope you're enjoying it. Um, this was covered up a few weeks ago. We did skip last week because it was Canadian Thanksgiving or for the rest of the world Sunday. Um, so I just had my family over and I went over, over Podrick. He is down here in his bed. And um, yeah, to those of you who are new to this channel, welcome. Like I said, this is uh, my geeky basement. I'm Paul Sun Young Lee. I've said that twice now and I think you already knew that if you're already tuning into this channel. Um, but I digress. Uh, basically, this show is all about geeky goodness. I will unbox a couple of really cool collectibles, at least I think they're cool. Uh, and a lot of people who are subscribing think it's cool as well. And, um, you know, we open it up, we take a look at what's inside, I give it a little bit of a half-assed review, and then we chat about geeky things. And that's about it. So, you know, you don't have to be a complete collector nerd or a geek or into Star Wars to sort of get into this stuff because we're, it, it really is, we're just opening toys and looking at them and, and seeing how insanely detailed some of these things are and it's a lot of fun so hang with us um, I hope you enjoy yourself and if you haven't already please consider subscribing clicking like and hitting that notification bell because then you'll know when a new video gets dropped again so all that housekeeping is out of the way you are here I have uh, for everybody here uh, a new sort of camera setup. I've got, of course, my overhead cam, and this is one of the first unboxings that we're going to do. This is a new Sideshow Collectibles 1-6 scale Darth Vader. Now, this is not from Hot Toys. This is a Sideshow Collectibles original. Uh, this just got released a few weeks ago, and it is spectacular. I've peeked at it, and we're also going to be comparing it. I've got my uh, Hot Toys Empire Strikes Back, Darth Vader, that I unboxed just a few weeks ago. So we can do a side-by-side -side comparison and look at the level of detail between the two. And not only that, we've got another Hot Toys. We've got the Star Wars 1-6 um, scale Death Watch Mandalorian. Got it there. And it's going to go right in that little shelf over there with the um, the heavy Mandalorian. Uh, the, the heavy gunner. Heavy gunner? Heavy. The John Favreau, the, pa the, the voiced... Mandalorian from season one. Anyways, uh, I've got something neat here. I'm gonna try this out, see if this works. There we go. This is from my Sony ZV-E10, and uh, I've got it on the mount here. And there's Podrick. Oops, there's Podrick. Hey, Potsy. What's up, buddy? He's in his bed. Yay, this bed came courtesy of all of you on this channel through the donations, through Super Chat. Um, we had to get rid of the sulfur that was here in the basement. That was Podrick's favorite place to lie down. It's on the porch now, but uh, we don't let him outside because it's nighttime and he likes to run after raccoons and cats and squirrels and stuff like that. But he's got a really nice comfy bed here. It's memory foam. So thank you so much to the members who generously donated. And this is some of the stuff. So right over here, that's the heavy mando. Um, I'm going to, you know what, I'm just going to do this because I'm... It's, this tripod is driving me crazy. There we go. 
I'm gonna free it. Free it, free up the camera. Free the cameras, free the ZVK. And so we got here, I don't know if you can hear me. Yeah, so we've got the heavy Mando right there. And right beside him is where the Death Watch Mandalorian's gonna be. And let's take a look at some of the other displays here. Now this is a free spot here. I've got the Poe Dameron helmet, that's in a Novos. Uh, pretty much 90, 95% of this, this cabinet case is all a Novos. And it's gonna be, and Star Wars basically. So you can take a look at some of the things. And right here we've got the reflection. We've got the Din Djarin, Mandalorian with the helmet, the Hot Toys Grogu. So you can say it's a bit of a theme. I'm trying to pair up the Hot Toys figures with the helmets. Because I think it's neat. And then, ah, Star Trek! Look at that. I'm not just a one-trick pony. I actually do. And there will be a shelf for BSG for all you fans out there. And so you can see that is this stuff. Right there. And even some aliens, the motion tracker. Right? And then up top, I have some of the other goodies just... Right like that. And some Ghostbusters. Gotta have some Ghostbusters. So that's... Hello! So that's that's this view right here. And I'm gonna switch back to the default camera. Um, so we got that going on right there. So that's what I've been kind of working on the last little bit. It's been hectic. I've also had uh, a lot of work as well. Um, yeah, I've been doing, been doing work. I uh, just finished uh, filming um, a couple of episodes of Tall Boys on CBC, which is great. And, um, you know, we're gearing up for uh, Niagara Falls Fan Fest, Comic Con, Comic Con Fan Fest. It's not the Comic Con, but it's Niagara Falls Comic Con, but they have a Fan Fest. And FCCFF. Wow, OMG. Uh, can you believe it? <laughs> Anyways, uh, gearing up for that in a couple of weeks, uh, obviously. And, um, yeah, so I've been busy doing that. Um, hey, you know, I'm so far behind. Let's take a look and see who is here in the basement tonight. We've got, well, you know, a lot of the members are here, obviously. Uh, and they're the only ones who are allowed to, to, to participate in the chat. I just realized that. So we're going to have to figure that out. But uh, Aaron S. is in the basement. Hello, how are you, my friend? Looks like, oh, you got the Deluxe Hot Toys Mando and got dinged $112 in duty. <laughs> duty. I know it's it's crappy literally you get you get double taxed basically but what are you gonna do and it seems so arbitrary sometimes every once in a while packages will slip through you don't have to pay any duty uh other times you just get nailed to the wall uh yeah there's there's uh i think kevin from toying around has um he gets it shipped to a p.o box in the states and then they'll they'll bring it across the border and then you can do that i can't I, it's kind of convoluted i just call it a geek tax and I end up paying it but uh, it, it, it it does get a bit prohibitive at times you can also track down Canadian retailers um, there is a Canadian retailer uh, in Toronto at least a uh, buddy of mine Ray was telling me about him I keep forgetting but you end up you you avoid that import tax because he gets it shipped to him he, and he's a distributor so there is that um, that option Thomas D is in the basement hello Thomas Cynthia Lynn K Christopher Colvin Rebecca Martello hello and we got Mel Dade, of course. My sister Angela Lee is here. Anton Tard, how are you, my friend? Colin Hollis, my good neighbor. Thank you so much for that lovely package you sent. Uh, it's a lovely sheet, one sheet of um, my, my character card. Thank you, I appreciate that. And uh, Joe, you made it. Oh my goodness. You're caught in traffic. Oh, there you go. Agility championships with your dog. Well, you know what? Don't you worry. We'll still be here and you can always catch the replay. And I hope that uh, your dog did well. I think you're talking fly? Finn? Fly? Anyways, cute, fast, agile, uh, winner of many ribbons. Th that's how I remember your dog. Uh, my dog, he's asleep. He might fart later on, probably will fart later on. I'll be the first to know. I'll let you know. You're all lucky you're not here when he does because dog farts are awful, really. They're, they're just terrible. Captain Wrecked is here, hello. Tommy is here, everybody, let's say it together. Shut up, Tommy. There you go. Thanks, Tommy, for joining us, uh, as always, and being a great, great sport. 
Uh, I can already see a lot of people in the comment section have been telling him to shut up, so that's awesome. Cheers to you. Uh, Anna, I've stolen your mug and I'm using it. Uh, ice water. This is something my, my, my wife, she got um, this great mug sent to her by her sister and it's an amazing insulated insulator. So if you put a hot drink in there, it stays hot, like super hot all day. If you put something cold in it, it stays super cold and the ice lasts for like hours in there. And I'm super jealous because I see her, like at night especially when she gets hot, she's got the ice water, she takes a sip of it, goes back to sleep. And I've got like, I, I sleep with a mouth guard and it, I get dry, I'm like, ah! dying and I'm so jealous when I, I see her and I you know go to the bathroom and I drink that tepid warm water that comes out of the sink and um, so I ordered uh, online I, I'm a sucker for like online ordering now like a this 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 ad popped up for brewmate coffee mugs I uh, insulated coffee mugs uh, online and I was just like I why well, I must have them so I bought two I bought like a 16 ounce I thought is that big enough so I got a 20 ounce and I think this is a 20 ounce one so I'm glad I got both but the 16 ounce one I can use for coffee and the 20 ounce I can use for ice water so <clears throat> that's what this is it's not vodka not yet maybe one day but not today <clears throat> all right we've have uh, who else is in the basement? Louis, uh, Louis Libet, hello, how are you? Bitter Trolls in the basement as well. And we have S. Dupont 79, hello, welcome, welcome. Uh, Tom, 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 Tom. We are all doing excellent. Thank you so much for asking. The Global Science, the Global Health Science Institute from Southern New Mexico is here, welcome. I'm so glad you join us every Sunday. Makes me happy. Brandy Woods is in the basement as well. Hello, my friend from Montreal. Uh, Rooster73 is in the basement. Vanessa Sierra said hello to you. Sons of Sparta99. Woohoo! Unboxing, fun boxing Sundays are back. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, I missed it last week too. And so I'm, I'm, I'm glad we're here. I mean, family's great. I love my family. I really do. But it always feels like, you know, when, when, when you have to skip something you love to do for family, which is, you know, I love them too, but you still miss that out. And, and I miss that. So I'm really glad to be here. Robert Donatello from Oakland is in the basement. Val A is here. And I see Captain Crispy. And all these fantastic members and generous donors to this channel. Thank you so much. And of course, I would be remiss if I didn't do the famous scroll of gratitude for every member on this channel. Now members, uh, for those of you who aren't members and want to know what is this all about, well, you know, really, these are uh, subscribers of the channel who have, you know, who are paying basically uh, a fee every month uh, for extra content and as a way of saying thank you for investing in the channel and all the money that they, um, that they donate to this channel through their memberships actually goes right back into the channel. It doesn't go into my pockets, it goes towards Projects like this where I can, you know, gussy up the place. I can get more uh, items for unboxings. I get more content for YouTube videos uh, for you and it comes out to you. And as a little bit of a perkis, 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 as a, as a perk and a thank you, they get access to these perks, like special, uh, special, not abilities. Could it, would that be amazing? Here's your special ability. You can be invisible. You can have a superpower. You can fly. You can do... No, um, these special perks like uh, being able to participate in members-only chats and uh, polls and whatnot. Uh, which brings me to another thing to, um, yeah, for everybody there. If you're, you know, a membership, it's a month-by-month -month basis. And if you don't like what you see or you, you kind of like, no, I think I'm good with just being a subscriber. That's cool too. You can opt out at any time. Um, and um, yeah. That, that's that's the thing. So give it a shot. There's two levels of membership. Go to the community page. Uh, and for everybody who's watching this channel, if you want information about what's coming up on this channel, if you're a member and, you know, a number of you uh, missed the uh, Ask Me Anything live stream that was exclusive for members only, um, go to the community page. When you go to the home page uh, for Bitter Asian Dude Inc., there is a community tab. Click on that. I will always have announcements or updates on there regarding members only things. And for those of you who want to find out more about membership, all the information is there. Like, you know, we have a 90 second horror film contest that's going on right now. And uh, we've got a lot of entries in it, and I'm loving them. I'm loving them. They are super creative, lots of fun. Uh, they, they bright my day and I can't wait to share them with all of you out there because we have a super spectac spectacular Halloween episode planned, which happens to be on a Sunday. So we're going to do a special fun boxing Sunday um, Halloween edition where we're going to screen some of these great 
fan uh, horror flicks, these 90 second horror flicks. And uh, we're going to be doing giveaways. We're going to be awarding prizes. Uh, it's going to be a lot of fun. So gear up for that. Mark that on your calendar. It's Fun Boxing Sunday. That's October 31st, my sister's birthday. Happy birthday, Angela. Happy early birthday. But uh, it's going to be a supersized edition. So mark your calendars. And um, yeah, so go to, the, go to the community page if you want to find out any information about what's going on. Uh, with Bitter Asian Dude Inc. And um, uh, the other thing, uh, uh, notifications. A lot of people didn't get notifications. On my side of it, notifications go out. You have to, as a subscriber, check your notification settings and make sure that you're getting all the notifi notifications from this channel. Um, so go to your go to your settings under your notifications and make sure you're getting the ones because I know some of them are, the defaults are set to like, you know, just a few specific uh, sort of types of notifications. I have all mine set out to, I got an email notification. I have other members who said, no, they got notifications. It's all about your personal settings. So you have to go into that little wheel sprocket thingy on your page and just sort of check your notifi your personal notification settings for, for your, your accounts and you should be getting them. Um, yeah, so I'm just going to, sorry, I'm, I'm like, ah, just blah, 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 old man talking. Old man talking. That's all he's doing is talking, talking, talking. Um, I'm going to go through here. Captain, Sh no, Captain, Captain, Rectum. Captain Seanfeld, Brian Seanfeld is in the basement. So is Joe Galati. How are you, my friend? Uh, toying around. Kevin is here. Is he going to stay, though? That's the big question. Yes. Uh, Chi of Steel is in the basement. Yoko is in the basement. Hey, Yoko, how are you? Um, Jinpei05, how are you, my friend? And we have, I think... Bad Wolf Media is in the basement. Bad Wolf Media was gets, uh, I think, Mike, you get you get special uh, shout out because you were the first one to submit for the horror film challenge. I think you should get a prize just for being the first. Uh, so I'm thinking about something that we can send your way because uh, that was awesome. I love that. Um, oh my gosh, I'm so far behind in terms of all these. So I'm gonna M Chavez, M Chavez 99 in the basement. Here we go. Linda Muvik is in the basement. John Carmen is in the basement. Damaged Queen. Hello, hello, hello. I'm getting to everybody here. Mike Yuan, you are late to the party, my friend, but uh, you know, the important stuff happens later on. So you are cool. Cool, cool, cool. Uh, thank you for the backlighting. Um, I, uh, I wrecked the first set of LED backlights. I didn't give myself enough uh, strain relief on the cord and it ripped. So I had to go, uh, I had to like, strip it off the wall. It's back by 3M tape. Pulling off the wall, I pulled off a bunch of paint as well. So that was awesome. Uh, a little bit frustrating, but I got it done. And getting these, the puck lights wired for each of these. You want? I want to show you something neat here. So these are at full intensity right now. And the cool thing is, you can make the lights warmer or cooler, right? So it's warm, cool, and the varying degrees in between. You can also uh, now, it's going to start strobing, so if anybody's got, is prone to seizures because of that, just be aware I'm about to do that. Uh, but it does this weird effect here. You see that? See? The frequency of the LED lights at a lower percentage, power percentage, gets that weird strobing thing. So i got to keep them at full to get rid of that. Now it's, it is in sync, and it is there. Uh, Veronica Choi is in the basement. Hello. How are you? Uh, and I think we are almost at the boom. Oh, here, before we go, here we go. Mike's, he's asked the million dollar question. Where can he get a hat? Where can a hat? Well, here you go. You can get your official bitter merch at bitterasiandude.com backslash merch. Throw it down on the bottom there. And uh, yeah, if there was only a way we could let everyone know how they could get their own sweet version of this hat or this hat how cool is that these two are on sale and for those of you who are planning on attending the Niagara Falls Comic Con Fan Fest I've got a special edition of these hats in royal purple that are going to be con exclusives that I'm going to have with me uh, at, a, at a discounted price so if you make it all the way out there I've got some merch that I'm bringing I'm bringing some of the old school Bitter Asian Dude Inc tees that I have left I gotta clear out the um, the inventory for that and um, yeah I've got I'm gonna have some some photographs I'm gonna be uh, selling and autographing and of course pictures if people want to take a picture with me um, the pricing will be available at the con 
Uh, but right now I'm thinking, and I'm throwing this your way, what you think. Uh, $40 for an autograph, $30 for uh, uh, like a selfie picture. Uh, and if you get both together, it'll be $60 as a package. So I think they've been doing some research. I think that's fair. Uh, and I think a lot of people are happy with that pricing. I think it's, I don't want to price myself out too much, but because I'm not getting a fee up front from Niagara Falls Comic Con, I need to, sorry, I just, I always feel so greasy doing that. Like just the prices for my autograph. Usually I just give them out for free, but, um, yeah, it's, it's, it's something that's, it's one of the realities of the business now. Um, and, uh, yeah, I need to be compensated for, for my time. Um, but that's business. Blah, business. Uh, let's get, uh, I see a question about toques. Uh, the toques are, are placed on hold, although if there's enough of a demand, I mean, of course, it's easy enough to get a, a run of toques done up. Uh, again, I'll throw that up in the, in the poll section for the community and we'll see if enough people uh, want toques and would be willing to buy toques. Maybe we might, uh, we might have them again available right there. I've, I'm switching up. I'm double fisting. I've got ice cold water here and then we've got like some Mio. This is actually uh, from uh, KC3, Kenneth Cunningham the third. My friend sent me a beautiful care package from New Jersey, fellow Ghostbuster uh, of um, orange vanilla. Mio, and so my cup runneth over. Thank you, my friend, to you. Hmm. Oh, that's yummy. I, I can't get it in Canada. I cannot get that in Canada, so. All right. Yay, Joe, I was waiting for you, Joe. I was waiting for you. You're here. Now we can start with the unboxing. Um, here we go. We're gonna read all of this and, oh, Linda, I'm so sorry. Your Boba Fett helmet arrived in five pieces. That's terrible. That's terrible. Well, you get that returned and get a new piece. I'm sorry. That sucks when it happens. Um, let me see. Uh, Cynthia is saying, I remember when autographs were $20. 30 50 seems pretty average now, especially if you're not getting paid by the con. Yeah, and that, that's that's the thing. Not getting paid by the con. So that's cool. Uh, there you go. Okay. All right, here we go. Um, so, like I said before, we are going to be looking at this beauty right here. This is the Sideshow Collectibles. This is a new sculpt, Return of the Jedi. One of the big things uh, that has come out from uh, from Sideshow. Oh, my God. My brain. Uh, they've got a couple of really cool Star Wars items coming out. Uh, they've got an Anakin. They've got an Obi-Wan. These are statues. Um, that are coming up, but uh, for the one six scale figures, this is the first one in a while that I remember. Ah, and um, yeah, so here's the box. Lovely, lovely photo art on the back of it. And um, yeah, this is the Return of the Jedi version of it. Uh, a lot of you might not know, but you probably do know that uh, the Darth Vader masks or the helmets and the armor changed from movie to movie. And uh, basically there were some, uh, they're, they're all from the basic same cast, but for Empire Strikes Back, the helmet was subtly altered, like the brow uh, uh, of the of the actual helmet became from, from A New Hope was lower and they raised it a little bit to make him look less sinister. Uh, the tusks here, they were changed. Um, you know, the, with the armor, in terms of the armor, like the, the, there's a, uh, there were two sashes that went under over it, but now they're underneath it. Uh, from Empire Strikes Back to Return of Jedi onwards, the chest box changed, as did the belt and the cod piece, apparently. So um, there is a little bit of difference, subtle differences between the three movies. Uh, there are nerds out there who know every single detail of what is, um, you know, basically what is what in terms of the the, the minutia of it, uh, and um, yeah. Here we go. Uh, let's let's check this out. Uh, let's open up this box. And this came in a plain shipper, which is great. I discard. I, no, I didn't discard it. But oh no! See, this is. I've already done it. Here we go. And like hot toys, we have the inner sleeve liner, which is cool. I love that. Look at that pose. Look at that pose. Join me, and together we shall rule the galaxy as father and son. I think I butchered that quote, but. Uh, there you go. There you go. Uh, Val, AIC, any recommendations if one wants to buy a display case for individual 1-6 figures? The cases I have behind me are from Ikea. They are the Detolf shelves. If you can get them, I highly recommend them. They're pretty inexpensive. 
uh, and they're always out of stock because they're great shelves. Um, they're great shelves, they're glass, they're heavy, and they display beautifully. Um, you can get lighting from Ikea. I got third-party lighting, like these LED pucks from uh, another seller on Amazon, uh, but I had to like... I had to do a little bit of work to get them to fit in and hide the wiring and, and this and that. And I was a pain in the ass to figure that out, but it, it was there. Uh, but Ikea, Detolf shelves. I, that's kind of the go-to for, for all, all collectors who display things. So check them out. When they're in stock, they're great. Um, okay, Melissa Kay's in the basement. Hey, hey, hope you're doing well. Okay, so let's, let's pull this off now. And there he is, the Dark Lord of the Sith in his... Plastic. Oh, sorry, here's a little detail. Look at that. The sides of the box actually have art once you pull the lid off. That's cool. I like that a lot. So there's his lightsaber. And here you have, there's his armor plate, his chest shoulder plates. And in here you've got his chest, chest box and his belt. And on the bottom here, ah, more of his belt right there. That was something I, as I pulled the lid off, I, I sort of saw it and I was like, oh no, it's all scratched. It's like, oh no, it's, it's a print. That's pretty cool. Cool. Ooh. Standard clamshell. It's in two parts here. Yoink. Yoink. Right, and we had this this was loose in the box it's a bunch of ball joints uh, for the for the hands to, to reattach the hands right. um, so the f box on top has the main figure with Vader and the box on the bottom has a stand and the different hands with different grips the lightsaber and the crotch stand holder thingy, which is awkward. Uh, I'm gonna put this over here for now. And take a look. Oh, they've taped it. They've taped it. There's, there is tape, tape right here, forcing me to use a knith. Here we go. Ah, oh, ruined the resale value. There it is. Ha 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 ha. Fooled you. Actually, these things retain their value. Especially if you keep everyone, the shipper box, and all the plastic. These things actually maintain their value, the resale value. Uh, is it on the side? Oh, it's on the sides too. Wow. They do. They do. I don't know. There are no instruction manuals. I don't know if I should eat the silica packet or not. Just kidding. This one. Oh, what a lovely sound that was. Two. Okay. So, they taped the hell out of it. One, two, three, four. Just to make sure that this clamshell wouldn't lift off. Because, of course, nothing can be easy. Right? Of course not. Of course not. Why make it easy? Do, okay, throw away, do not eat, focus, there you go. Do not eat! Don't tell me how to eat donuts. Okay, oh, there we go. The serial killer shroud, there he is. He looks like he's, he looks like a vampire. As is, it's just kinda, kinda the way it was, right? I've run out of water already, wow, look at that. Do not eat. In quotes, yes, eat. Let's let's lift him out. Ooh, fancy cape. Oh, it's soft. Soft cape. Soft, soft cape. Now let's take a look at wow. That is pretty wow. That's amazing. This is uh now the light and the chest box, uh, the chest box and the, the these the belt belt boxes are supposed to light up. If there were instructions, I 
Oh wait, oh here we go. So there's a battery tab on the back behind the cape. Uh, and I'm gonna turn, there you go, that on. And I still can't see, but I'm assuming this is the battery tab that I'm going to, oh no, it's not the battery tab. Oh, it's wiring. Okay, so my eyes, I'm gonna have to put on my old man. I'm gonna have to put these on because I find it difficult to see under certain circumstances. So I got, I got uh, my peepers on there so I can, so I can see uh, more clearly there. Yeah, you know, it's, uh, it helps me uh, under situations like this. All right, so I've got, let's take a look at this. Oh yeah. So here's, this is cool. So this is, it's wiring. It's a couple of wires that are running LED lights, uh, probably to the, oh, I see it, see? There's to the chest box there, and you know, it's kind of hidden by these. Uh, oh, nice little detail item. A little hook there to hang his lightsaber. I don't know if you can see that one. Little hook there, and the belt. Oh, yeah, yeah, you can see the wiring. Can you see the wiring there? Right in there for that. So these these are lighting up. I love the Arabesh right there. I don't know if you can see it. The Arabesh on the chest box. Uh, it looks like they've done some weathering for the belt boxes, which is pretty neat. Uh, okay, let's see if let's let's turn this. I just switched it on and. Ooh, lights. Hold on, let me turn that off. There we go. Can you see it? Oh, on the belt button. That's, that's bright. Uh, it's not, it's kind of garish here, but like this, this is neat. There's a, a light cycle that's happening there. It's going through a little sight sequence there. And um, yeah, you got the green boxes. You got the green boxes there right now. Daniel, you're late? That's on you, buddy. I'm not starting over. <laughs> nice try. You made your choice. Uh, so, yeah, we just lit up the chest box. And um, just looking at the rest of the figure now. This cape, it's, it's smooth. It's like, this is like a really, I don't know if you can see the, but it's like a, focus, focus, focus. It's a very, very smooth uh, satiny material uh, like you know if you had this on the bed as sheets you'd be comfy if you didn't slide right off uh, the detail on this oh look at that the detailing on the the cape chain is pretty sweet that's that's pretty good too and the helmet sculpt not bad not bad it's got a nice gloss to it there's <gasps> There's a tusk missing. Huh. Isn't that interesting? So there's a there's a tusk here, but one of these is actually missing. Sons of... Is that... They didn't... No. No, no. It's missing. Son of a... Duh. I... Is it on the table? It's missing. There's There's like a little metal tusk thing that's... I don't know, is that screen accurate? I can't remember. Wouldn't, it wouldn't, wouldn't be screen accurate. How could I have broken it? I couldn't have broken it. It just, he had his thing. Wow. It's not here. It's not there. You had his face right. Like the only way that could have possibly happened is when I pulled this, this off. And there's no way because it was behind his head and it's cellophane. That's ridiculous. I don't... Oh, come on! Oh, sorry, Parker. 
Did that wake you up? Did that wake you up? Did Daddy wake you up because you were screaming at his toy? Well, wait, 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 wait. Is that it? Shoot. Or is that a piece of dust? Hold on. <laughs> Hold on a second. I gotta see if it's. No, it's just a piece of dirt. Uh, okay, well, that's a bit disappointing. That's a bit disappointing. And I'm going to say, it, it's so funny. I, would I have noticed it? Would I have noticed it? Uh, I'm going to see if all of y'all take a look. And you notice it, right? Come on, focus. So there's a metal tusk right there. Come on, focus. Focus. Focus! Yo, piece of... There. One there, and the other one is quite clearly missing. Now, it's a tiny detail. It really is. But it's the little details that bug you. Bugs me. Right? And no, this isn't it. This is a, this is a, no, that's not it. It's a piece of, like it's a sesame seed or something. So, yeah, it is noticeable, right? Oh. Well, that's a massive bummer. That is a massive bummer. Oh, well. What's that? Tommy, you checked the tape? What happened? Was it there? It was always like that. All right. All right. No, that's okay. I, I've, got, I've got friends at Sideshow, and I'll, I, will, I will reach out to them, and I will... I will <laughs> it's, it seems kind of ridiculous, right? But this this is this is this is collecting right now. If you drop the amount of money that I mean these they're not they're not cheap, right? These things aren't cheap. I paid how much was this? How much I know how how hard is it, right? I couldn't figure out how much it was. It's like 300 bucks Canadian and if you factor in shipping and handling, it, you you want even it's got to be perfect. It's got to be perfect. So, um yeah, they'll send me a tusk in a tiny envelope. Or in a big envelope, and they'll say, "Good luck finding it, Tubby." Um, yeah. Oh, that's unfortunate. That's unfortunate. But okay, let's let's move on because I can't, I can't, I can't obsess over this. And I won't obsess over this because it's fine. It's fine. Take a drink. Take a drink. If you're playing the drinking game. Take a drink, because that's one of the things. If Paul notices something, it's if it's a ding in the box or whatever, and says it's fine, but it's not fine. Take a drink. Ah, uh, there we go. There we go. It's fine. It's fine. It's not fine. It's not fine. But I'm gonna move on. I'm gonna move on. Okay, so let's take a look at uh, Mr. Vader here. Do 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 do. Um. So this this cod piece here is something that they, they, they wanted to point out uh, on the on the website. Uh, the description for uh, the sculptors is this is all brand new sculpted piece and I guess it's more screen accurate to Return of the Jedi uh, versus the other one. We'll see. Um, the undersuit is pretty fine. I mean they've got the stitching, the stitch stitches there. The material is this great, I mean it's like this great pleather-like material. Sorry, I bonked his head there. Oh no, the tusk went. The gloves look super dope. Like, look at the look at the detail on the back of the gauntlets. That's really cool. And these are all interchangeable. He's got like six sets of hands, six other sets of hands, all with different grips. So if you can close closed hand, open hand, something where you can grab a, a lightsaber. Um, you know different things. I think he's pointing. The articulation is pretty sweet on it, as it is with a lot of uh, these figures here. The armor is pretty dope. Um, I think the belt's a little high, though. I think it should be a little bit lower for some reason. I don't remember the, the cod piece being so visible that uh, I think it's just, just a scooch. Just a scooch lower. Um, let me see if I can do that. And there's, oh, you know what? It's the belt itself. Pardon me, sir. 
the belt itself that's why it's pre pretty thick so oh he's got pants I could pull his pants down. I could pants the Lord of the Sith. Uh, so there's his butt, Darth Vader's butt. Uh, the boots, let's talk about the boots here. That's pretty sweet. Uh, underneath the boots, the, it's it's insanely detailed. I love these boots, actually. The sculpt on these boots, like this, it's a, it's a hard plastic, but it looks like real leather. I mean, that's really cool. Cool, what is that? Oh, that's cool too. Okay. So Okay. It's it's not one big boot like some of the other figures have, like it's a, a, which which affects the articulation. This is actually they've hidden it with this strap here, the armor strap, but the shoe is separate from from the boot. It looks like one big boot, but it's not. And that's right there. You can see the gap right there. That's cool because it gives you maximum posability and mobility as well. Uh, because what I, as I discovered last night, um, posing these things can be the biggest pain in the ass sometimes because, uh, the armor, while it looks great on certain figures, uh, it, it is very, very limiting in terms of mobility and posability, uh, and range of motion. Uh, that's true to life it, when you're cosplaying, you know, the armor looks great, but there's a reason why you don't see stormtroopers sitting down because you can't you pinch yourself the butt plate it doesn't doesn't work it doesn't bend that way there's a reason why until recently you didn't really see stormtroopers running uh because the way the 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 calf armor and the thigh armor was was cut it was just impossible to sort of get that range of motion that's why when you see the new movies like uh, rogue one solo you see them all out sprinting it's because if you look at if you if you freeze frame and get a screen grab you can see they've really cut bigger gaps between the the shin, uh, the calf arm, and the the calf armor and the thigh armor, uh, just f so they can do that. So now uh, there are little cheats that they've done right there to to make it um, just make it more more accessible or, or easier for the for the stunt performers or the actors to move around in them because they can be extremely limiting. Uh, and so, like for example, with um, with that heavy Mando. Uh, it took me forever and a day to get him to hold the gun. His hands kept popping off and I was just like cursing because his range of motion is limited because he's got the undersuit, he's got the armor and uh, it was, you know, it was tough. It was tough to get him to in that right pose and, you know, I spent far too long trying to get him to just hold that, that huge gun. You know, let's, let's switch over to the Sony cam, the EV cam and you can see Whoops. Right there. See how he's, he's holding that? That gun took forever to get him to hold that gun. Can I zoom in? I can zoom in. Yeah. I can zoom in. There. I love this lens too. This lens is sweet. That gun right there. Forever and a day. Right? Why? Because nothing can be easy. Nothing can be easy take a drink take a drink take a drink that's right hey steve three is in the basement yeah that's right a new hope tk is not comfortable at all either called the armor bites or armor pinches they'll suck because they're they're at the the joints joints behind the knees behind your knees you know in different areas you, you just yeah you just don't want it that's no moon. All right. So here's the, uh, this is, let's get back to him. Uh, so here's my imperfect Vader, uh, which is, it's, it's actually gorgeous. This cape is, is pretty kick-ass. The fact that this lights up, I like, I wish the belt, what was it? Like, I think it should sit like, I think it's supposed to sit like that. There's a big gap though. But maybe it's cause he's lying down and I can, maybe I can get him to look at that top of Vader's head. Which is pretty cool. Oops. I feel like I broke his back. Oh my god. Uh, the suit detail is not too bad. I dig it. I dig it. But it looks... Like I, I, I like the stitching here. But it looks... 
Well, let's 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 take a look at it. We'll 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 compare it to the side not the side show. This is the side show. We'll compare it to the Hot Toys one in just a hot second. <laughs> Hear what I said? See what I said? Let's look at some of the accessories that come with. Did they tape all this stuff too? Good lord. They put 16 pounds of tape on the clamshell to make sure that you know it didn't open. And the tusk was, was missing. So you've got your standard base. And here are the different hands. Ooh, he's got he's got the uh, the force choke hand. It's like yeah, <laughs> force choke <laughs> for you know choking people with. Oh, he's got the uh, the finger pointing hand. You will join me. Which is great. Different grips. Crotch grabber. The lightsaber. Ooh, look at that. I like that. Look at this. I love this. This little detail here. This little D-ring. Little D-ring. Right there. So you can clip it onto. Like that's that's clipped onto his belt. And uh, oh yeah, here. Thumb update. Take a look at the thumb. It's almost there. This part I can actually stick something through. Uh, I don't want to clip it off just yet. I think in another couple of weeks I'll finally, finally be able to clip that off and I'll be done with it. And that will be it for thumb updates. Right? He's got a fancier crotch grabber at least. Yeah. Well. Here we go. It's the saga of the nail. That's right. That's right. So... You know, I think if somebody ever said, uh, you know, while they're being force choked, harder daddy, that would be like, that would be it. That's a good way to end it. People would just like, you know, I'm done. I'm out. <laughs> You're too weird to engage with. I think they would be like, uh, oh, I'm gone. And we'll just walk away. So it's actually a very, very good defensive technique. Okay, so here it is. This is the Sideshow Collectibles 1-6 scale. Darth Vader, uh, it's got the shin armor, new, new cod piece, uh, love the gloves, loving the gloves, love, love, love the light up panels, um, it's not too bad, if you're not looking for the wires, you can't really see them, like, it, they're pretty well hidden back there, I don't mind that, uh, this is odd though, that, I mean, the cape's gonna be over it, so you're not gonna, you're not gonna see that. I actually thought this was one of those plastic tabs you pulled out because of the batteries, but uh, the battery case here. What I like is there are already batteries. They've been placed inside, so I have to do is switch it on or off um, because as many of you know, I have very adventurous times with small things like batteries and magnets. So there you go. Um, crotch plate crooked or is it your eye? Uh, I think it might be a little bit crooked. Might be a little bit crooked. Who knows? Yeah, it is. It's just, just a little off center. Just a little asymmetrical. But that might be, yeah, that might be on purpose because uh, a lot of Vader is supposed to be asymmetrical and that way it looks more organic. Um, so, and part of it might be because there. But it's like it's velcroed on. Yes, I'm. 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 It's in his crotch. I have to. I have to. Anyways, it's okay. I'm a professional. Um, yeah, this is. It's. It's. You can't really shift it over. It's. It's velcroed onto the material. As you can see from here, it's not symmetrical to the center of his uh, of the seam. Um, but again, with the helmet too, it's not asymmetrical. So if you were to take a line and divide it through. One side would not exact, would not mirror the other side, and that's part of the reason why it looked more. Uh, it's it's an organic look to it, and that's why in Rogue One, was it Rogue One? No, no. So Re Revenge of the Sith, when uh, Hayden Christensen's character is, is revealed and they've got the brand new Vader sort of uh, reveal, it looked just a little bit off, and it's it's off because it's perfectly symmetrical. And uh, same thing with a lot of the helmets in Star Wars. The, the TKs, the stormtroopers, uh, scout troopers, they're all asymmetrical. 
uh, there's a weird sort of unevenness to it, but that makes it look more organic and more real. Uh, when it's perfectly symmetrical, it looks fake. So there you go. That's that's pretty cool. So this is this is it. Now I'm going to do a side by side comparison. So here we have right here Sideshow Collectibles, and I took out. This is the uh, Hot Toys Empire Strikes Back 40th Anniversary Darth Vader. Um, that I pull out of the box right here. So there they are side by side. And um, there they are. So like right off the bat, some of the differences are very, very apparent just in terms of the, the, the helmet sculpts. Um, obviously they're from different movies, so there is going to be a progression. Uh, this helmet is removable though for the Empire Strikes Back one so there's that that's cool the cool sort of advantage there and you have the detailing obviously of the inner part uh, this is cool but one of the annoying things about it is the helmet actually does pop off a little bit too easily um, you can tell the difference between Empire Strikes Back son of a bitch sorry 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 because nothing can be easy right Get on there. Get on there, you sack. Fuck me, fucker. Come. Why? 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 I'll tell you why. Because nothing can be easy. Get on there. Get on. There you go. There you go. Uh, I'm going to talk about the brow. The brow is slightly different on each of these. Uh, this has got a bit of a, a softer peak. This one, this one has its... It's a little bit more pronounced, right? The eyes are different on it. The uh, Return of the Jedi eyes are a little bit smaller. The Empire ones are a little bit bigger. This one has both tusks. How's that? Huh? How is that? Um, it came with both tusks. In, okay, that's not fair, but it bugs me. It bugs me, so I'll say this. Um, the, uh, the cape material, this is a heavier... This is a heavier material, and look at the hot. I like the lining on this. Pretty sweet. I mean, that's that's a level of detail that uh, the Hot Toys one kind of lacking. I mean, there's a there's a little seam here, which is nice, but it doesn't have that nice sort of. It's a different material. This looks like it's like it's tailored, right? Like you have the difference in the materials there, which is pretty cool. Right. Um, I like this one here. This level, this this detail here. I don't know if you can see. It. I'll bring it a little bit closer. His inner robes. Look at the pleats. Really nice pleats. The pleats are nice. Um, right, both sides. Uh, the chest box. Can't remember. I don't. Does it light up? I don't think they do light up. So advantage sideshow light up chest box. But the detailing on this is not... I like the weathering a little bit better on this. It looks a bit heavy-handed on the Sideshow one. Just a little bit too too much magic marker-y, sort of like that kind of weathering there. Right? Cod piece. I, I, I don't spend a lot of time looking at Vader's cod piece, so I, I couldn't really tell the difference. Uh, between the two, but the sideshow cod piece uh, looks more like a solid, like a boxer's cod piece. Um, the uh, the the hot toys one looks just like a piece of warbler that's just sort of shaped there. So advantage the sideshow on that one. Uh, good work. Um, the uh, ooh the bodysuit compared to the two. This is interesting. So. Look, you can see the difference in terms of the, the stitching here. Like, it's all there. It's great. But this has got, like, another level of, like, it's poofy. And it's got, like, a richer material. And so you can see those. Uh, it's more defined in, in that way, which is kind of cool. And, yeah, I never would have noticed it if, had they not been side to side, side by side. So there's that, uh, the shin armor. And, again, these are from different movies, so there's going to be slight variations. Um... Uh, this looks, I mean, the, the, the knee part 
comes out more. These stick closer to the knees. Make it interesting. Uh, let's look at the boots. Yeah, this is what I was talking about. So the boot is all one piece and you can really see, you can see there, right? It's moving inside of the boot. So there's that. Uh, the boots are great though, but this is, and the shin guard here is, is very, it's not as fixed. It's, it floats around. So that would help a bit, I think, with posability. Uh, this is very tight onto the boot. Doesn't doesn't shift around. I actually kind of like that better. I kind of like that better. The fact that it, it's fixed onto here a little bit more, and I like the ankle, the articulation of the ankles, uh, a lot better. Uh, so I I think that's that's cool. So there you go. But I got to give the edge to in terms of the uh, the actual bodysuit to Hot Toys, and some of the other differences are the under grill. Um, this is you can see the the cut the triangle cut there versus here and again they're from different movies right so these are more accurate too this is uh you can see the grill a little bit more clearly on that which is great and nice, screen accurate and of course he has both tusks sorry sorry and uh yeah this one does has a you know you can see the the grill there the cape is like like i like this the chain i think that's pretty cool this is more accurate to vader what it was son of a anyways this is more accurate to the vader because it was you didn't have the chain it was actually underneath the mask there and this is removable because of course there's that big reveal in empire strikes back when he's in his chamber uh and um you know one of the officers one of the i think it was admiral piet comes to to sort of report to him and you see the back of vader's head before the uh you know as his mask is being dropped down from behind so you see the back of vader's head um and you see he's all scarred up and bald uh, and so that that's the thing so this is a the hot toys one this is 40th anniversary so it is empire strikes back that version and this is um the return of the jedi version and i'm not gonna let it go mike because the tusk is missing, and it's a small detail, but that's what this is about. One six scale collectability, it's about these tiny details. That is why we buy them. If I didn't care, then I'd get all the retro, you know, I, I get the, the 3.75 inch um, figures at a much cheaper price, because, you know, you can you can collect them, and the details are the details, but you go for the one six scale because you want that attention to detail. And a missing tusk, something that tiny yeah especially if you drop like 300 bucks you know it's like if you had a big scratch on it i mean on a box is one thing but actually on the figure itself as a collector it does it does affect the, the resale value and so sideshow will be getting an email from me but i'm i'm confident that they will uh they'll make it right and this is a this is a gorgeous figure though and uh you know Cheers. They are, uh, they will be going side by side with each other in their own little cubicle. Uh, I've got a Sideshow collectible, Luke Skywalker, that I'm also going to be unboxing. R2-D2, which I've unboxed, and Princess Leia uh, Hoth version. It's going to be a family reunion, and they're all going to be in one nice, nice little posed uh, cubicle there. So I can't wait for that. Um, but that's, yeah, that's the Sideshow collectible. Uh, I hope it's not a, a a recurring like a like a problem that they have with the Vader figure. If the tusks are so delicate that they they get broken off in transit, I don't know if this even made it. If it was, but it's such a small piece, and I know it's a small piece, but it is it's something that uh, for people who collect these things, it's got to be perfect. It's got to be perfect. Um, all right, I'm gonna. Put Papa Vader back in his little box, and we're going to move on. We are going to move on. I see those puns. What's the old saying? He that would make a pun would pick a pocket. Looking at you, John Carmen. You too, Captain Crispy. You're a bad influence. Keep it up. Keep it up. All right. You and you. And you. 
can take this. Yeah, I did. I did check. It's not in the clamshell. I did check, Tommy. Thank you. Back in the box with you. I'm gonna eat that silica gel. Even it told, even though it told me not to. See, I'm even checking the box. It's not. There's nowhere. It's not in the box. It isn't there. the other thing there are no instructions no instructions at all okay. <laughs> we didn't get Vader to kiss Vader it's not that kind of a show right. it's not uh, it's not in this either focus 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 there we go Not in here either. These are the different ball joints. Bowel joints. For Dirth Nader. Who? Ugh. Of course I put it in upside down. This is the back of the box. This is why we can't have nice things. Because Paul keeps messing things up. I mean, I could, fi I could do that on my own. I could, I, you're right. I could fix it. I could totally fix it. I could fix it. No one would know. They're gonna know. No one's gonna know. How would they know? They're gonna know. And I could do a TikTok video about it. And like, yeah, use use a piece of silica gel. That you know, knowing my luck, I would inhale by accident. And then where would I be? Hey, Tommy. So shut up. Tommy, shut your filthy pie hole. We gotta do another episode of DFA. DFA, Sports Toronto. Let's go, Tommy. We gotta get together and we gotta do that. Clock's ticking. I think a lot of people, well, those who saw it really enjoyed it. I've been getting other comments from other people that they enjoyed it. DFA. That's right, Cynthia. I shouldn't have to fix something that expensive. That's the whole point of it. That is the whole point of it. John Carmen. John Carmen. Why you gotta be like that? Why you gotta be like that? Why do you gotta dump hot ashes on my head? In my moment of need, all you do is laugh and laugh and laugh. That's fine. That's fine. Did, what? Did that come up? Well, Cynthia said, thinks that's right. Meh. I shouldn't have to fix something that expensive. There you go. Okay, yes. The Leafs did win last night. They did win last night, but if it wasn't for that offside call, it might have been a very different game. And only the Leafs can do that. Play a dominating first period, second period, have a two-man advantage, piss that away, and you know keep it close enough so that one goal will make a difference and change the dynamic of the game. And of course, the Ottawa Senators, sorry I'm speaking sports ball, the Ottawa Senators, they, they got burned on that call, but he was still offside. It was by this much, but he was offside. But still, ask my family. I was swearing up a storm because I was screaming, how do you let a guy, how do you, how do you let him that open? How does Batherson get open like that? Anyways, I'm going to stop. I'm going to stop because there's a time and a place for it. This is not it. Yes, Joe, the Leafs are killing all of us. But it's only game three. Wait till Matthews comes back. Wait till he comes back. You'll see. Everybody, everything is fine. It'll, everything will come up. It'll be okay. Oh, that's a good idea, Mike. I like that. I like that. Let's see if we can integrate that, Tommy. We need an F-bomb counter for DFA. If it passes 20, you better be drunk. <laughs> I like that. I think we could do that. Um, what is this conversation going on here? What is going on? Okay. Oh, yeah. Okay, uh, oh, sorry, I'm gonna take this lovely Darth Vader, I'm gonna put you to the side, wait, you okay? Sorry, it's Podrick, he's, he's up and he's looking at me. What's up, buddy? What do you want? You need to go out? One of the boys will let you out. 
You need... <sighs> okay, I knew this was gonna happen because my dog is an asshole. No, I'm just kidding. He's not. He's great. I'm gonna let him out. So hold on. Okay, I'm back. He's outside. Somebody else is looking after him, making sure he gets back inside safely. He's running around in the backyard like an idiot because he hears things. And um, I love him. I love him. He's a great dog. He's a great dog. He's just a bit odd sometimes. He likes to, he likes to run around. So uh, I'm going to put... And there goes a the helmet. Here. All right. And I'm wearing pants. I am wearing pants. All right, here we go. Uh, Podrick theme music. Oh yeah, I gotta put music to that. I gotta put some. Da, 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 da. You can hear him. Can you hear him barking? He's barking at the shadows. Barking at the shadows. Uh, looking at some of the comments. Some of the comments. Commercial break is brought to you by Tommy K. That's right. Um, okay. Uh, next up we have this. This came uh, in the mail. Uh, it got delivered, didn't come in the mail. It got delivered a few days ago. Been waiting to own, uh, oh, unlock, to open this up with all of you. Again, this is, of course, the Death Watch Mandalorian from The Mandalorian. Um, this is a hot toy. Here we go. And, um... Yeah, I mean, it's it's gorgeous. I mean, the box is gorgeous as always, right? It's got the cigar, uh, sort of the band wrapping around it. Can't really see that, there you go. In the back, got the details of who did what, and little warning, don't eat the small little parts of the silica pack. Let's open her up there. Ah, oh, that's gorgeous. That's gorgeous box art. I love these these little action shots that they that they will do uh, are stupendous, just stupendous. I love them, love them. Look at that detail. Look at that. It's got the ash and the cinder and whatnot. Look at that. How much do you know? It's not too bad actually, Aaron. Uh, I think per case it works at anywhere from like I, I've gotten dinged as low as. $14 and I've gotten dinged as high as I mean if it's a big like if there's like five or six of them Close to a hundred bucks, but this one was was very like I maybe maybe in the 20 to 30 dollar range, which isn't too bad. So uh, Yeah, that's right Daniel you are You're you're an army builder though, right? So Daniel he likes he just can't get ones like potato chips He likes to build armies. So when he gets them he 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 goes all in he's got to get multiples multiple multiple multiples so yeah that's that's why i i can't army build i think i'd be dead in a week i think anna would kill me um yeah i see a mess of corner what shut where where what no no mess of corners that's just no that's just the folds nothing messed up you got okay you're all you're all fucking with me now. <laughs> All of you. Stop it. 
Now you got me. No, it's fine. You all jerks. <laughs> totally got me. Totally got me. All right. Uh, let's take a look. Let's get rid of this insert. Ooh, it's got the standard. It's lots of accessories. Lots and lots of accessories. Let's lift it out. There's something about hot toys when you open them up, it's that smell, that new toy smell. Uh, Instructions, take a drink. Take a drink. This is what I love too. They're not taped down, the clamshell is not taped down. It is, they've got these little uh, locks, these sort of molded in locks. There we go. And this death. Oh, this is interesting. So sometimes what they'll do is they'll have like a, a, a tray, a clamshell tray, and they'll have all the accessories in it. Here they've utilized the entire box, which I like, to so that there's less there's less packaging, less plastic. They're actually using these. So you have the extra fists. Uh, this is you have of course the. Um, the ball joints for the fists. Extra, this is a different type of armor. There's a, a an extra plate that I guess you could swap out one of the armor bits if you wanted to. Uh, for the rocket pack, flames. You've got jet pack here. And the different pist the different uh, weapons. From the pistol to the, uh, to the main blaster. You nerds out there, you tell me what, what these blasters are. That's not the can't remember. Ah, here we go. <clears throat> it's not missing a tusk. Shut up. There are no tusks. <laughs> All right, let's get let's get this out of here. Let's get this out. Of, I find it so odd. I find it so weird that they put. Like I know why they do it. It's to protect it from getting damaged or one of the tusks from getting destroyed or removed but it's still weird because they're so detailed it looks like little dead people uh and uh yeah so here it is and again these the death watch is a subsect of mandalorians uh that believed uh in you know uh they're very very ritualistic they believed in leadership through combat and so the strongest should survive. They were the warrior elite of Mandalore. And of course, Din Djarin was saved by the Death Watch after his village was overrun and his parents killed by uh, battle droids. So the Separatists went and screwed him up, his family. And uh, he was rescued by the Death Watch members. And they're the ones that apparently they have the creed where you cannot remove your helmet. Uh, a true Mandalorian does not remove their helmet in, you know, in plain sight of another Mandalorian or in, inside of anybody. Uh, and that's that's one of the big things for the Mandalorian, season one at least, and season two, is that a true Mandalorian does not remove their helmet or has it removed. And so, there you go. I'm gonna pull that out. That's a gorgeous. That is a gorgeous sculpt. Uh, the armor, look at the the detail on the armor. Right? And the paint scheme. Look at that. I just I just love that. Mm, little dings. The flight suit itself is uh isn't weathered at all. And I find that I find that really interesting, that juxtaposition of having a, a clean undersuit that hasn't been weathered or stained or, or in any way, but having the armor all dinged up. But I mean, this is, I, lo I love the level of detail on that. Like, look at that, the paint, that's the Death Watch mark. Um, the gauntlets, pretty kick-ass, right? The holsters, right? Oh, you should be proud, Christopher. I told you to shut up. That's a, that's a sign of affection. That is a sign of affection. So if you get a shut up, you should be very, very happy. 
So double shut up. Uh, flak vest. This is great. It's all removable. All this stuff is removable. But look at that. So this is leather. And look at the stitching in that. And of course, you've got the rocket pack here. And magnetize, right? That's how it that's how it should be. Nice and easy. It's solid. Solidly placed on there. Look at that. Bo Katan, uh, yeah, start off with Death Watch, but then she she ended up leaving it because uh I think it was Paz Vizla. Um she just did not she did not jive with his uh, with his methods uh, or his leadership and he became kind of a shill so she did leave and it is Captain Wrecked with the big save the West Star 35 pistol and an EE3 blaster carbine so there you go did I yeah pre-Vizsla I was it was one of the pre-Vizslas it was one of the Vizslas what did I say Paz yeah I think Paz was is actually the heavy Mandalorian it's called Paz Vizsla um, is this a specific character who we see saving Din? I think it is. I think it is. Uh, though I couldn't be sure, but this is from the Mandalorian. So, oh, there's some padding on the bum. There's foam padding in the suit. But it's, it's got a, I'm feeling, I'm feeling the Mandalorian's bum. And you can see it's, it's got, wow. Quite a bit of padding on it. There you go. Gauntlets. And uh, let's take a look at what we got here. So we have a really... Ooh, this is interesting. Again, this is they're showing the streamlining of the, the cases here. Uh, they've got a nice... This, this piece of plastic that is molded to fit on top of the base. You've got a standard base plate. Death Watch Mandalorian. You see that on there? Um, and you can have... It's a dynamic, posable base. So you can have him just standing. There's no crotch there's no crotch grabber on these i've noticed this for a few of the hot uh, hot toys figures if it comes with this dynamic this inanimate carbon rod or the dynamic posing thing where it just it sort of fits in there sorry it fits up in there you can make it look like he's flying right obviously with the these just go in there and so you can have these figures appear as if they are in mid-flight uh, which is cool and uh, so and you can also swap out One of the this this is another thigh plate, but you know where you can find that out? more than information out in the instructions Look at that. It's almost like it was meant to be That's interesting tape. Oh no, he's ruined the, the packaging with the original instructions. That's it. Can't sell it now. Gonna have to keep it. So here are the instructions. Death Watch Mandalorian. It's very simple. It's basically... Oh, you, you can swap out this. This. Two styles of thigh guard can be interchanged as shown. So this one does not get swapped out, but this one does. Apparently, so you can have the bigger one or the smaller one. Uh, that probably denotes the difference. So you could, this could be, uh, I think one of the thighs would denote a regular Death Watch, uh, one of the other Death Watch members, and one would denote the one that saved Din Djarin. Um, this is this is above my pay grade in terms of nerdy. I'm not sure which one was which, but uh, yeah. So this is this is the interchangeable thigh with that. I'm assuming that this is the Death Watch um, member that saved Din Djarin, so that's why they defaulted to this one. If you wanted to change him to a regular one, you could just swap it out. Uh, so that's my guess. That's that's what I'm going to do. Um, and I think, yeah. There we go. Um, yeah, and this helmet. Oh, look at this. I love that. Look at that. Beauty. Beauty. Targeting scanner does indeed drop down. There are no lights. I'm digging. Digging that. There is no face underneath. The helmet does not come off. Uh, but again, the articulation. 
pretty fine on this. And uh, this is really cool too, the holster. There's a magnet in there that keeps that shut. So if I wanted to take the Westar 13 and place it. Boom. Just like that, that level of detail is great. And look, the little tabs, the little snaps on it. It's not missing. Sorry, that was petty. Um, that little, he's even got the little cartridge in there. Uh, I was, it was neat because I was, when I was putting the Din Djarin, um, season two Mandalorian up in, uh, up in his display case up there, it was cool because in his, his, his rifle, you can actually open it up and place one of the little cartridges inside that's off of his, one of his belts. That level of detail is spectacularly insane and I love it. And also, he had one of the charges on his belts you can remove and stick on things. Um, you know, the best car, the, uh, in the. In the Camtono. Like, so this is cool too. Actually, this is what I love. It lights up. The little light so you can focus. 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 It lights up. Oh. Come on. There you go. Right? All opens up. But you all knew that from before when I did my other unboxing, right? And this is all magnetic. It's all magnetically sealed. Yeah, the Camtono has Marcellus Wallace's soul in there. <laughs> That's it. Okay, have a good show, Bad Wolf Media. Thanks, Mike. We'll see you around. Uh, we'll see you next week, my friend. Okay? Have a great show. Take care. Yeah, it's an ice cream maker that is made uh, out of... You're full of Beskar. That's right. Okay, Captain Wrecked. Here we go. Solving the mystery about the leg plate. Okay, so the leg plate he's got on out of the box is the one who rescued him. And the other one not attached yet is just one of the many Death Watch Mandos that drop in during the Din rescue scene. So thank you for verifying that. That was my gut. That's what I thought it was. And uh, yeah, thanks for verifying that. So this is, now we know. Now we know. This is because of this, the longer piece is, progress, oh progress. Oh that is the Death Watch member that actually saves Din Djarin with his rocket pack. And I'm going to get him. Of course, it also comes in grab this take this out this is the dynamic sort of uh you can use this to clip around the waist right like that it clips around this clips around like that and then you can take the dynamic rod and it screw oh there's screws is it threaded so then this must go, this is interesting because uh, this is a screw, it must go in there, yeah. So it's threaded into the base, and then you can have this sort of up here and it make it look like he's flying. But there's not enough room in those cases for that to happen. I know, I checked. They're lovely, but there are, there are limitations to how big they are. Uh, and they barely fit, there's not that much clearance, but there it is, and here it is. Is EE3 the EE3 blaster carbine? 
and it's it's it looks very similar to Boba Fett's weapon. They're all based off of an old school flare gun, basically. And they've just you can see it in there. It was crying out loud. You can you can see the base. You can see where the flare gun was. You just added a barrel to it and then put a stock on it and added a scope. This is what I love. It's the same thing with Boba Fett's EE three blaster. Uh, it, it is. Um, you know, again, it's based on a real world part. And in this case, it's not even a real gun. It's a flare gun. But, uh, that's, that's the Star Wars universe. That is the Star Wars universe. Yeah. Kenny C3, how are you, my friend? Very cool. I'm glad you could make it. I'm so glad you could make it. Um, we were just, you know, hanging out. Doing this and just scrolling up. There you go. Uh, we just un un unboxed. Uh, this is our second unboxing. This is the Death Watch Mandalorian, the one who uh, saved Din Djarin, and we figured that out because of the, his thigh armor. There is is longer. There is a shorter one. It comes in the box if you want to swap it out. That uh, makes him just like a regular Death Watch, but this is the one of the signifiers that he was. He was the one, the specific Death Watch member that saved Din Djarin, and took blast him off to safety with this jetpack which is magnetically attached which is great to it I've got his blaster in there held in place there you go and I'm gonna swap out his hand so he can hold it's a fist ah, there you go there's that's that's the hand that's the one that's the one I find it easier sometimes to just put the place the blaster in the hand before I attach it to his to his his arm if you're squeamish look away Hey, now you're not gonna feel this. Here we go. Ah! Oh! I pulled out the whole. I I pulled out. This is a first. I pulled out the the actual ball joint. There we go. I said ball joint, not ball cock. Get your heads out of the gutter. There we go. Give the man a hand. And then you get, and it's that simple. It is that simple. There you go. And I'm going to take this gentleman or gentlewoman or this Mandalorian Death Watch member, and I'm gonna place them Ooh, that's a lovely sound. Oh, I gotta find the seam. Let's see if that's underneath. <laughs> and I, he's just gonna freeze they are just gonna freestand I defaulted to he I'm sorry that's that's an old habit that goes here and I'm going to check this out so, nope
God. This is why we can't have nice things. That's not bad. All right. Well, it's in. And I see some. This, what's going on here? I see some. John Carmen. Okay, with with the uh, with the clarification, he's watching that episode. None of the others has three stripes on him. Okay. And uh oh, here we go, Captain Wreck. Uh, the leg panel with the recessed groove running from top to bottom is the one who flies off. So you're talking about this one then. This one. Okay, so that's fine. I will, I'm just gonna leave it in there for now. I think that's cool. Works for me, but now we know, mystery solved. Way to go nerds, loved it, loved it. And the shoulder chest stripes are a giveaway to none of the others have three. So we're looking at that and he's got They've got three, so does that mean I'm going to have to swap it out? I'll do that later. Um, <laughs> I I don't molest them. I'm doing a like they're not alive. I it's not like I'm just feel. They, oh my god, I feel so dirty. It's not that. It's not that. I'm not. I'm. I'm. It's a review. I'm supposed to do any of that. Um, are those Black Series Sabres? Yes. Um, if you're talking about... These ones up here. Uh, what the, the Ahsoka Tano one. Oh, the wall is so dirty. I'm so sorry. Uh, the Ahsoka Tano one. Uh, that, is, that is a Black Series. Um, the one in the box is... Uh, there's a couple... So there's a, a Luke Skywalker one in there with a Leia, the one that I got from Disney Parks, uh, a friend of mine got for me. Um, and then this one is a Return of the Jedi Luke Skywalker one, but that's a custom one. It's not a Force FX one. Um, so yeah, it's a, it's, it's a little bit, uh, it's a mismatch. I, I just wanted to fill them up. I don't know, I'm not sure if I really like how they're set up that way. Uh, I think what I'm gonna need to do for that one at least is get acrylic shelves so I can stagger them so that at least you can do them. And uh, it's funny because I actually do have, let me turn this around. If you can see this, oops, can you see them? This is where a lot of my other Black Series right now, they are being stored just in the corner there. Uh, yeah, so I have to, uh, I got to uh, find a home, a good home for them as well. Uh, somewhere around here. Whoo! Uh, okay, so those are the unboxings I have for this week. Uh, I want to talk about uh, the 92nd Horror Film Contest. Uh, again, you still have time to enter. Uh, I know my buddy Ray, he went all out. They, he got a crew together and not everybody has to do this. Ray went for it. He's, I, I think he, he's an aspiring filmmaker. He had a story that he wanted to get out. This is, he loves Halloween. He loves horror. Uh, and so he, he went for it. So I'm really excited to see him. I've got a number of uh, entries already. They're all, they've all been fantastic. Each of them has given me a big smile. Uh, I love seeing the creativity in this community. Uh, and I'm just calling out to everybody else, like, check it out. Uh, go on the community page. You can see what the, the, the rules are for the contest. You have to be a bitter, you have to be a bitter brigade commander to enter. Uh, but think of it as an entry fee. It's like five bucks Canadian, five bucks Canadian to enter in. It's a 90 second horror film or challenge. You can shoot it on your iPhone. There's an example that I placed up there that my family and I, we shot 
my boys they want to shoot another one now so feed those creative juices and look at it you get a chance to win one of three fantastic sideshow collectible one six scale figures we've got freddy krueger michael myers and uh, Jason Voorhees that are up there. I've also got a number of other secondary prizes that I have that are, that are going to be surprise, surprise, surprises, surprise prizes. Um, so enter. You still got time. You have up until I believe the 20, 29th or the 30th to get your entry in. And on the 31st, which is my sister's birthday. Happy birthday, Angela. Happy early birthday. Um, we're going to be announcing the winners and we're going to be doing a screening of these wonderful entries, the, the winning entries. So get in there, feed those creative juices, have fun. It doesn't have to be a high piece of art. It doesn't have to be any of that. Just have fun with it. Uh, you know, if people can make TikTok videos that are like 15 seconds long or minute long, surely the creativeness of this community can do better uh, than that or, or just as good. And it's just, just throw it out there. Have fun. That's all it is. So I'm going to encourage you, again, go to the community page. Check it out. 90 Second Horror Film Contest. Uh, it'll be a lot of fun. And hey, you could win a fantastic collectible, right? Okay. Um, also, uh, what I want to talk about. Ah, I wanted to talk about this. Yes. I am going to be making an appearance October 29th and 30th at the Niagara Falls Comic Con Fan Fest. 21 again that is the nfcc ff21 wow that is a mouthful i will be there i will be there signing autographs and posting for pictures and doing meet and greets and i'm gonna be there just watch i mean i'm gonna have fun too i'm gonna go around i'm like i'm a nerd too right so i gotta hit the floor gotta search for those grails um someone from pigeon row is actually going to be coming with me and and sh filming me uh, do this this con it's it's a really nice tie-in and it's gonna be something for the channel um, as well and we're really excited so if you if you're in the area and you want to drop on by make sure you got to be double vaxxed you got to have that proof proof of purchase jeez you gotta have that vaccination proof the documentation but it'll be worth it we're, we're slowly starting to come back to normal and I think again wear a mask be safe we're gonna be indoors uh, but if you're double vaxxed like the, the chances of, of getting COVID are, are the root the risks are reduced, and I'm double vaxxed. I'd love to be able to hang out with other, all of y'all uh, who are double vaxxed as well. And uh, yeah, you get a chance to, to chat and, you know, um, shoot the shit. I said that. I said shit. Oh, I said it again. But uh, yeah, I'd, I'd love to see you all out there. And um, I'm really, really looking forward to it. It's my first con in a couple of years. And uh, the first time I'm soloing as 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 a guest so it'll be a lot of fun and i hope you come out and check it out um yeah if you can get your qr code that's right gary get your qr code i've been going around i have pictures of my my vax my, my pdfs my vax records and stuff like that uh so uh, that i they're, they're accepting that as well too but the qr codes is a, is a really good way to go uh yes vanessa i did i saw your movie great stuff really really loved it I think it's fine. I, I'm, all the movies have made me smile. All the movies have been great. Uh, there's some really funny ones, some really scary ones. And uh, yeah, I can't... You guys are geniuses. You guys are geniuses. I love it. I love it. And that's it. Um, Steve3. Where, where, are you, where are you at, Stevie? You're, when are you coming to town again? When are you coming to town again? Uh, just remind me. I'm sorry. My, 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 my organizational skills are shit. Tommy knows that. Right? Right, Tommy? You still there? If you are, you should throw this up there, right? <laughs> All right, good, Steve. Um, we are gonna hang then. We're gonna hang. We're gonna storm Crow Manor. You and me. We're gonna do it up. So there you go. Uh, where is Christopher? Christopher Colvin. What are you? What are you talking about? One man film. Oh, good, good, Steve. Okay, that's it. Sorry, I'm just sort of scrolling up to see what the... I hate being left out. And my phone is buzzing in my pocket. And, uh... Ch -ch 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 -ch. I will get back to that later. I'll get back to that later. Um... <laughs> Does anybody have any questions about anything that they want? Um, let's get... Let, let's do another AMA. I think we need to schedule another AMA and for all the members 
AMAs, they, they are exclusive to members. If you want to join up, I'm going to, you know, consider a membership. We, I had a lot of fun last time. I think there were only 18 people who were there, uh, members who, who were able to, to join. So let's, let's do it again. Uh, some really great questions. I'd love a chance to do that again for other members to get a chance to participate too. Uh, we had a lot of fun. Um, it's great. It's just just me answering questions and, and having fun with all y'all. So uh, we'll, we'll do that again. Um, let's aim for the first couple of weeks in November. Uh, check the community page. All the information will be on the community page as to when it is when to tune in, set your notifications. That's on your side, everyone. Make sure your notifications were are, are set so that you can receive them. Uh, we'll do another little test run. Maybe I'll, I'll do a little sort of like fake sort of shout out, a quick live stream so that all the members to make sure it's all working. And if you didn't get the notification, then you make sure you, your settings are done because I would really love for members to be able to participate live while we're doing that too. Uh, and... Um, yeah, what do you what do you say, Steve? Uh, yeah, a link to a shared Google Drive file will work too. Um, we transfer Dropbox as long as there's a link to some place where I can download it. It's not a problem. So far, everybody's used Dropbox, but uh, Google Google Drive files should work if that's what you're asking. Joe, this community page. If you go to uh, my homepage, the the Bitter Asian Dude Inc. homepage. Underneath the banner, there's a number of little sub settings. There's like home, videos, playlists, community, memberships. Click on community. And it's 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 new for me too. I've been posting all the information is on there. So for everybody, make sure you click on that community tab and you'll see all the information. It'll all be there. Anything from announcements to uh, members only videos to members only polls, uh, all sorts of that that's that'll be the hub i can't youtube doesn't have it set up so it's on my home page so you gotta make sure you check the community tab uh if you want access to all that information uh mel yeah hey look at that you're gonna make your your pbs show have a great night hope you're doing well um and uh yeah there you go vanessa that's that's a great piece of advice too uh, if you don't want to turn your notifications on because you're afraid you'll get too many new to new tube YouTube notifications, you can't specifically choose only to have this or specific channels. That's absolutely right. Um, but that's on again. That's on your end. Everybody's got to you know make sure you get to that. Uh, and oh my gosh, here we go. We got a super chat from Omar Garza. Thank you for making me laugh and cry and have a great time with Kim's convenience. Oh, thanks so much. It is, um, yeah. It's Kim's was such a life changing thing for me and for a lot of people, I think. And so thank you so much for that. And thank you so much for this, this super chat. Again, all the money goes straight back into this channel. I really, really appreciate that. And thank you so much for being a member. And uh, yeah, and for a lot of you too, who might not know it in Canada, they finally dropped season five on Netflix. So you don't have to go to CBC Gem. CBC Gem is the Canadian version of Netflix, basically. It's all... Um, it's and they had the rights to Kim's Convenience all the seasons and they finally Netflix Canada now has access to it for the rest of the world for like I think 98% of the world Kim's has been available for a while but for Canadians who have been too stubborn and unwilling to go to CBC Gem to watch season 5 there you go it's on season season 5 is on Netflix now so thank you and thank you so much Omar for, for the generous donation I really appreciate that uh Linda is asking, it has to be Windows. I'm not sure what that means. I'm not sure what that means. Uh, you can shoot your movie on your phone or on a videotape. It's just got to be in a format that I can download. So that's usually an MP4 or uh, an MMOV, like a point .MOV or an MOV file. Uh, what I'm talking about is how to share it. You can use, yeah, you can use Windows, a Windows browser. You can use, like... Uh, an internet browser, but you have to be able to send me the link that I can download the video for. Otherwise, I can't do that. Um, they give it as good rehearsal, Steve. It's good rehearsal. Rehearsals are always good. And oh, you know what? I try to be there. I have three kids under four year old in the house. It's rough making time. I hear you, brother. I hear you. 
Not to worry. Not to worry. We got your back. We got your back. Kids, family, it's always got to come first, right? So, but you'll make it. Uh, yep. That's it. Yeah, you're right, Mike. Truth is, it, it's, it's, a, it's not a perfect platform. It isn't. And that's why a lot of people have a difficult time going to CBC Gem because it isn't. It's, you want a streaming experience to be painless. You don't want to be like stuck in a perpetual loop. And I've heard a lot of people where they've gone halfway through and it's glitched and it starts again from the beginning and they have to watch the same four commercials. And so they give up. So that's the thing. It's, it's got to be a, a flawless sort of experience. And CBC Gem still has a long ways to go, I think. I think they're getting better, but they still have a ways to go. Um, uh, I guess that's one way of doing it, but I, you know, like just John, um, a lot of people don't want to, I mean, it's, it's about privacy settings. It's like, you know, it was already, a lot of people weren't getting notifications because it's a little bit too much to sort of juggle around. I would prefer private links. Uh, and then that way, you know, it, it's just, I think it's just protects other people's uh, not identities, but it's just a little bit more secure and private that way. So private links work for me. Uh, I got my my email address for Bitter Asian Dude Inc. Uh, BitterAsianDude.com. Uh, send it there. Send me a link. We transfer. That's nice and safe and secure. Or Dropbox. It's very very simple to download onto Dropbox and send me a link. Um, so you can just Google it. It's it's pretty. But that's a good suggestion. But I, I think it's better to stick with um, with sending me the link privately. Uh, oh, thanks, Melissa. Tell your dad I said hi. Thank you, and I appreciate that. Uh, yeah, yeah, IATSE still might be, like, they, they, they talked about a deal being reached between IATSE and the producers, but it's got to be ratified, and my ear to the ground for what I'm hearing, a lot of the membership, they're not happy with that deal, uh, so it might be rejected. But I think, by law... The uh, representatives have to present because, hey, this is a deal. You know, do you guys want it or not? And if the membership votes no, then they might still be on strike. So, there you go. Uh, there you go. Hey. Uh, I'm seeing a lot of stuff about CBC Gem being garbage. It's fair. Uh, isn't really buggy. Oh, okay. There you go. And we have... Yeah, Linda, if you're using a mobile device, it's really difficult to download, to, to access YouTube. Um, but for iOS, um, I mean, I, I shot my stuff on an iPhone and I was able to download it. Uh, and I think other people have to. It, it's, if it's in an uh, amp point mov uh a move move format i should be able to get it so it's it's not a problem because i'm i'm working off of mac completely here so there's that too and we have a super chat here we go hi this is gg namjoon i'm not a member but i wanted to show support keep spreading that nerdy awesomeness oh thank you so much thank you i appreciate that uh, that's oh it's lovely i need some british pounds too so that's like a million canadian dollars um so thank you. Like, honestly, that that's so generous. That's so generous. And I, I really appreciate that, too. And thank you so much for for su showing your support and uh, and watching this. This is this is absolutely um, I always get overwhelmed by this. I always love that. I always love it. Uh, it's um, I think it's the highest compliment when, when people do that. And I, I appreciate I appreciate that donation. And I promise to use the money wisely. So thank you so much. Um, and. I'm going to go here. Yeah, Jam has, you know, Val, you're right. The content, it, and I'm not complaining about the content on Jam. It's got fantastic content, but the platform needs to be less buggy, right? And, and that's the thing. And I, I've had a number of people, especially at the very beginning. I mean, if it's a new platform, you kind of understand. But Jam's been around for a few years now, and you know, it, it still is a bit like glitchy and that's enough. I mean, people go to Netflix because it works. They click on it, it just goes. They don't have to worry about it. Same with Amazon Prime, same with Apple TV. It's just, you just go Disney Plus, you just go. CBC Gem, 
Yeah. I mean, I, I'm not sure uh, you could pay for the for the ad free version of it for that subscription. Um, and I think maybe that platform's more stable, but I know the free version is still buggy. So that that is it. Uh, Aaron, uh, my girlfriend ordered a bitter hat on August 22nd and we haven't heard back about it yet. Who can we email for an inquiry? Uh, you can email me at bitterasiandude.com um, and I'll look into that. I know with the hats, there is a pre-production, there's like a, we need a certain number before they put in the order to get made. So sometimes it, it, it takes a little bit. So August 22nd, September, October, it'll come fairly soon. I'm hoping, but I will look into that and uh, we'll get an answer on that because I think it is actually, if you look on the website, it says it's like a, could be a six week turnaround time on that, but uh, I'll look into that and um, yeah, let, let's see what we can do to, to get you your hat faster. Um, yeah. Okay. Well, it's almost nine o'clock. Uh, I had a lot of fun. I'm going to say this again. Sundays are my favorite, 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 favorite day of the week because I get to hang out with you and I get to chat with you and I get to be a nerd and do my things. And uh, you're all so very generous and very kind and very supportive. And I appreciate that, especially, you know, with things being the way they are in the world today. I love this community building. Um, and I know it's been super busy. And I haven't had a ton of uh, new content coming up for uh, for for the membership stuff, but I'm I'm sitting on so many things right now. Uh, I'm gonna drop a couple of uh, fun time lapse videos. One having to do with with uh, the creation of, of what you see behind me, and another one having to do with um, uh, some of the work that I did last week. I think you all get a kick out of it. You'll see me fall asleep during a makeup session. So. That'll be cool. Uh, and we will be here. I'm going to be, yeah, next week for sure. Fun Boxing Sundays. I don't see any issue with that. Uh, it is Fan Expo. Is it Fan Expo weekend next week? I think so. Uh, but that's not going to stop us. That's not going to stop us. Uh, Robert. Oh, Robert. You're such a kind man. Thank you so much. Um, you have a great week too, my friend. Stay safe. I really, really appreciate your constant, constant support. It means the world to me. And uh, yeah, it just makes me smile <laughs> like an idiot. Um, Thanksgiving dinner was great. Was great, Kenny. Thank you so much. And uh, like, I hope you see, uh, I appreciate that package that you sent to me. Uh, I'm Orange Vanilla, Mio. Can't find it in Canada, but my good friend Kenny C3, he's the one that sent me up a, like a, you sent me like six, six of those, and I've been portioning them out. I've been like rationing them so I can still enjoy them. So thank you. Mm. Thanksgiving dinner was great though. It was great. Uh, thank you, Bitter Troll. I love you too. Um, really, really appreciate that. And uh, yeah, um, I just, yeah, I just want to say thank you to all of you and stay safe. And, uh, well, we got a super chat from Chris. I'm going to get in there. Thank you so much. Thank you, Chris, for this donation. I, I really appreciate that. Uh, and um, I, I get, without appearing too, I, I don't want to seem overly earnest, but this, this time is precious. And, you know, our time is precious uh, and you want to spend it doing stuff that you like and I've, I've come to that conclusion a little bit later in my life and there are things that we have to do things that we don't have to do and I really appreciate all of you spending time doing this because you don't have to and I appreciate that so that from the heart I want to say thank you so much uh, and uh, I wish all of you the best thank you so much Captain Wrecked Put this in a kitty for a custom Carson Teva helmet for yourself. Thanks so much, Paul. Thank you so much. Uh, I actually do have a custom Carson Teva helmet in the works. Can't wait to show it to all of you. My good friend, Frank Ippolito, down in California. He is, uh, he's got a helmet, and uh, he's, he's, he's going to be working on it, and I can't wait to, to share it with all of you. Uh, uh, until then, though, for all of you, stay safe. Be well. Um, time of COVID, as always. Wear a mask. Simple. Wear a mask. 
wash your hands, stop touching your face, get vaccinated. If you haven't, get vaccinated and we can all hang out soon enough. Uh, love, peace, respect to you, your families. Have a fantastic week and we'll talk soon. Okay, see you. I don't know what button to press. I always, is it, uh, oh, that's not awkward at all. I moved everything. Oh, here it is. Bye.